Now is we're going to go to our next topic here, which is Christian student wants to pay for her law degree because God said so. No, no. Who does she want to pay for her law degree? Uh, people. Gullible people. Gullible <laughs> religious people. This is a fun one. <laughs> it is. All right, Drew, go ahead. Right, have at it. Gullible people. Video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this was actually in, uh, I guess you would call it his blog, right? Because uh, him and Mata, or Meta, uh, our guest tonight, this is one of his that he had in his blog. I guess you call that Just a blog. call right? him Kumar. Yeah, it's a, it's a blog, Every, yeah. Everybody knows Kumar. <laughs> 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 Anyways, He's it goes like this. I'm hardly in a position to criticize someone else for a publicity stunt like money-making schemes, but screw it. Julianne Battenfield is trying to raise money to pay for law school. Juliana taking the obligatory I went on a mission trip to Africa picture. I don't mind her trying to raise money. Seriously, good luck. But what bothers me is where she wants to go. Pat Robertson's Regent University School of Law and why she wants to go there is right here. She says, uh, God asked me to go to law school for the good of the kingdom of God. Help me raise $28,500 by May 1st, 2015. I do not believe in taking out student loans because the word of God says not to. And he asked me specifically not to. So I have permanently declined my loans in faith, trusting that he will provide the full amount. If he asks you to help, please help. If not, sit back and watch him work a miracle. And I think we have a trailer to play. Yeah, absolutely. Here's, the, here's her trailer, guys. This is her trailer to try to scheme you out of your money. Here we go. Got to drink, finish up. Yeah, um, kill myself. <laughs> uh, I have, I have to hand it to her. Guilt tripping other Christians into paying her tuition by telling them it's what God wants is pretty damn clever. In all seriousness, Battenfield hasn't convinced me she genuinely wants to go to law school. All I know is that she wants to help people, and everyone around her tells her to be a lawyer. That's all well and good, but those are not good reasons to go to law school. There are plenty of jobs that let you help others and plenty of ways of using your advocacy skills. It's not like Regents or any other law school is going to tell you that, though. They just want your money, or in Battenfield's case, God's money. Thank you, Drew, on that. And since you just uh, read it, why don't you go first on this topic? Because uh, and, and, and to let everybody know here, what Drew just read was the words of our guest tonight, Hemant Mehta, on his blog. So go ahead, Drew. Yeah. yeah, I really wanted to start with the idea that she's having a two-way conversation with God. But uh, I, I guess we'll go ahead and head directly to the point because these people seem to do this a lot. Yeah. I'm wondering if God is against student loans and wants her to raise, I think in total it was like $55,000 for an yeah. entire year. I'm wondering why God doesn't just miracle your ass some money is kind of, I guess, basically what I'm thinking because she says he's against student loans and she even said in there, watch God perform a miracle. And another thing I'm wondering is what happens if she doesn't meet her goal by May first? Is right. anybody here con is anybody here convinced that she would change? Well, her real mind? quick, real quick, I'm going to expand on that. Uh -huh. Is we don't know how much oh, she has received. It's private donations. We don't know how much she's receiving. It's not like it's a Kickstarter campaign or anything like that where we can see how much yeah. she's raised. It's not that. It's private donations. Click here yeah. for this. Click here for that. I'm like, what? One time donations? Yeah. We don't my, know this shit. Simple, real simple question: If she's against student loans, why is she okay with getting a degree from a school that offers student loans? If student loans are against the Bible, yeah. how can you trust the school that says they go by the Bible but then offer student loans? 
Exactly. No, I agree with you. But, you know, uh, one thing I want to bring up real quick, and then uh, you guys can jump in whenever, is I want to bring up this situation um, where she was showing pictures of her trip in Africa. I mean, like this is what the religious do when they do missionary trips. It's so fucking disgusting. They, they brag how great they are. Oh, I went to this little village, and I helped these poor people out that are starving and these kids that are dying. Yeah, I'm doing good, but their God lets these fucking kids die. And they come back with these fucking stories, and I knew this firsthand because my wife, my ex-wife, did the same fucking thing when she went to Africa. She came back gloating, like, oh, I did so good for, in the name of God. I'm so awesome now. No, you're fucking not. You're sitting over there indoctrinating children and, and, and making them feel like even more like they're like shit. And you, you need God to make your life better. Go fuck yourself. I'm like, I just find this very, very fucking immoral. Very immoral that they do this shit. So go ahead. No, but they have the higher morality. They have the higher standard. They think we are the higher moral yep. atheists. You know, when and then they, they keep in mind that these are conservatives, man. You don't you don't run into nearly as many Christian liberals as you do Christian conservatives, and the conservatives are against giving the money to feed poor kids, even here in America. They're against yeah. like like oh, you want to tax me to like you know for socialism so people have health care so so yeah. anyone can see a doctor i'm against that go screw obamacare but i love jesus and i i, I preach his message and I, I live my life according to it it makes me feel so spiritual they, they're, they're the, they're the biggest hypocritical dumbasses ever ever and we get to deal with them. They, they're the majority is the unfortunate case. And we get to deal with them on a daily basis and get to hear about, oh, how they cry persecution. Oh, like, like oh, they course. have in God we trust on the money, but then they cry persecution if anyone mentions. Like, well, well, we, we have Jesus. Have there. We have they're Jesus like, on the money tonight. This is what they want. They want Jesus holding his thumbs up like this. Exactly. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why That's why I brought it up, and I didn't use uh, Under oh, awesome. God from the Pledge. Very uh, very nicely done. One of your my favorite graphics that you've done. <laughs> yeah. I actually wouldn't mind if they put Jesus on there like that. That'd be uh, I would, I would, if it was Buddy that, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, if it was Buddy Christ, yeah. yeah. Uh, Paul, you got anything? Uh, about Black Jesus. Mean, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, okay, so she's... Um, She's saying that it's God's will to raise the money for her to go to school, but it looks like she's already raised money, at least from her family, probably to go on those trips at least. So why can't she just do it locally instead of going out more to even more people and telling her that, you know, God willed it. And it's like she's some type of prophet that she needs to go to Pat Robertson's law school of all places. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that she's like she's extremely Christian. All the website's all about this. These you know these verses, the you know uh, Psalms here, all epistles here, all these you know why, why all these take quotes. But she's but she's gonna go study law so she can. Um, I mean, she's studying law at Pat Robinson, so it's probably going to be skewed, but she's studying law instead of it. Excuse I mean, like, oh, what, she's going to go away, and I think she's going to be a f one of the future ones trying to change things into more of a theocracy, which scares me even more. The irony, going to law school, <laughs> Pat Robertson, in the, in the same sentence. That's actually, that's actually <laughs> a really good point you brought up, Paul, because I've, I've heard Pat Robertson say that, that he, you know, his goal is to get people who are going to be lawyers and politicians and whatever to you know that that the people that attend his school a small percentage of them will will grow up to to really be influential and that's their point man they they are not happy to do it in their own homes at all yeah. this is all about making it and and so now they think they they here's the scary part they think that putting in god we trust on the money does something <laughs> Like, that's the really yeah. scary part. It, the, the fact that they think, like, stupid things, like, I mean, under God and the pledge is more effective than in God we trust on the money. Like, nobody once has looked at a dollar bill and been like, oh, shit, I should trust in God. Never. Yeah. Never once has it happened. Well, it, it's just a, it's a pointless thing which, that they, they, they get funny. so involved in and they don't care about actually doing the shit that Jesus would have taught them in their Bible, which is the point I was getting at earlier. But yeah, yeah. Very, very good points. Exactly. Very good point. Awesome. Great points. Uh, definitely. I love it. Uh, but what I want to uh, say is like, this is what the extreme right fundamentalists are doing. The conservatives out there, uh, they got the money. They can create these fucking schools, you know, like the law schools and shit like that and teach their own brand of bullshit. 
You know, they're not going to teach them exactly what they need to be taught, but they just say, hey, listen, we have to fight for our rights, our freedoms, our Christian freedoms. You know, this is what we have to do. Fuck separation of church and state. So that's what they're yeah. doing. They're, they're working on the next generation of kids. And, you know, they might have a you know, a few dozen, a few hundred, whatever it is. But you know what? It's, it's going to be enough to do some kind of damage when it comes to our uh, Constitution, I think. So that's what we got to look forward to. You know. I say at least one positive thing with it is that she's not getting a loan, so she's not getting at least some of the piteous money that I give to the government in taxes. So she's mm. not taking it from other people, but she's – well, other taxpayers. Instead, she's going to yeah. take take it from other delusional people and milk them out of money to go to school. So at least there's a positive to yeah. it. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, it is a good point, and the thing about it is, like you just said, man, devout fundies, you know, they're very religious. They're very global. They'll give money to anything that has to pertain to their religion. Well, la it. last really quick point. Imagine it was a uh, a Jewish girl trying to go to a Jewish lawyer university and was asking other people for money. Oh, Can you imagine the out. response? Can oh, you imagine yeah. the response? <laughs> yeah, oh, she wants I mean, to flip out for one. Yeah, Christians would be like, "Look at this Jew." Asking for, for money, money to go practice you some fucking Jew cheap law. motherfucker. <laughs> I'm saying, I, all right, we we better drop that before we exactly. call it to Dusty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nah, come on. No, stop it now. It's a joke. I know yeah. it is. Uh, all right, all right.